Today, the Commonwealth has nothing in common and no wealth. And why should countries even sponsor this nonsensical hangover of the British imperialism? Why should taxpayers' money, your, my, hard-earned money, be wasted on propping up the faded prestige of the British crown as it fantasizes about its past? The sun has set on the British Empire. The crown is lost in the darkness, living in denial of the truth. In Cape Town, then 21-year-old Princess Elizabeth told the Commonwealth, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. India is not part of any imperial family, nor is any other member of the Commonwealth. Today, these words mean absolutely nothing. The only thing most Commonwealth countries have is memory of shared oppression. What strategic interest does the Commonwealth even serve? Where is it placed in comparison to, say, a BRICS, a G20, a CORD, or NATO? The blunt answer is, the Commonwealth is nowhere. The Commonwealth is nothing but a tattered vehicle of a now tattered British monarchy. For a country which is sinking economically, politically, socially, for a country that had no cons in exiting the EU but wants to cling on to the Commonwealth. The people of the former colonies know the truth. The Commonwealth should be renamed Stolen Wealth. For that is the only thing all the countries have in common. The monarchy is not your soft power anymore. If anything, it's the opposite. The, at the center of this empire was the royal family. They do not represent the glory days of Britain. They represent the worst of Britain. Blue blood is not a real thing. Ag apologizing for your ancestors is a real thing. The Germans still apologize for Adolf Hitler. And that's what the British royals need to do. Apologize for their past 